In northern Michigan, many of us rely on septic systems for wastewater treatment. A failing or improperly maintained septic system can introduce nutrients, pathogens, pharmaceuticals, and other pollutants to our lakes, streams, and wetlands. The pollutants found in septic leachate also have a potential to contaminate groundwater. The impact of a failing septic system may be especially noticeable in the form of increased plant and algae growth in the nearshore area, which can make boating and swimming undesirable. It can also make it unsafe for swimming due to disease-causing bacteria, viruses, parasites, and other pathogens. In this video, you will understand how a septic system works, how to properly maintain your septic system, problem signs to watch for, and what to do if you suspect you have a problem. Here's how a septic system works. Wastewater treatment in the septic systems occurs in two stages. First, wastewater from the home enters the septic tank where the solid waste, or sludge, settles out. Bacteria and other microorganisms consume most of these solids. The sludge remains in the tank and needs to be pumped out periodically. The liquid waste then flows into a distribution system, usually a drain field where it is dispersed into the soil. Here, the wastes are further treated by the microorganisms and chemical reactions in the soil. Some septic systems contribute much higher levels of pollutants than others. The location, design, and age of the system have the greatest influence on the effectiveness of waste treatment. Other conditions that contribute to the pollution potential of a septic system may include soil type, depth of groundwater, system use, and frequency of maintenance. Replacing a septic system can be very costly, so properly maintaining your septic system makes good economic sense. Following these simple steps will help your septic system operate effectively over the long term. Make sure to get your septic tank pumped out every three to five years depending on usage. The more the system is used, the more it needs to be pumped out. Do not use chemical products that claim to be a substitute for maintenance pumping. Many of these products liquefy the sludge, causing it to enter the drain field and thereby reduce the capacity of the drain field to adequately treat waste or to fail altogether. Besides, these products are not needed because solid wastes are greatly reduced through natural digestive processes of bacteria and other organisms that occur in the septic tank. For optimal performance, minimize your use of household chemicals and cleaners as excessive use can kill beneficial bacteria in the septic tank and in drain field soils. Also, avoid putting grease, hair, cigarette butts, facial tissues, feminine hygiene supplies, band-aids, paints, solvents, and any other household wastes containing hazardous, toxic, or non-biodegradable materials down the drain and toilet. Never build, pave, or drive over a drain field or septic tank. Also, watch for woody vegetation growing on or near the drain field. Trees and shrubs that grow in the drain field area can disrupt the wastewater flow or crack the drainage pipes, resulting in leaks and inadequate treatment of waste. Runoff from your lawn, driveway, roof, and other hard surfaces should be directed away from your drain field. Do not apply fertilizer around a drain field. Doing so will saturate the soil with nutrients, reducing the drain field's capacity to remove nutrients from the wastewater. In shoreline areas, plant or retain a natural strip of vegetation along the water's edge. The deep roots of native plants intercept and utilize nutrients found in shallow groundwater contaminated with septic system leachate that migrates toward the lake. Last but not least, conserve water. Excessive water use is the most common cause of septic failure, so reduce water usage when taking a bath, doing the laundry, and flushing the toilet. When washing your clothes or dishes, only do full loads. Also, identify leaking pipes, sticking float valves in toilets, and dripping faucets to reduce water waste. Install low-volume toilets and low-flow shower heads to conserve water. Proper maintenance can prevent problems from occurring and help ensure that the system will provide safe, economical, and effective treatment of household wastewater throughout its expected lifetime of 20 to 30 years. Toilets or sinks backing up or draining slowly, in spite of using plungers and drain cleaners, may indicate that drain field soils are becoming saturated. Wet areas, lush grass, or foul odors around the drain field indicate that effluent is surfacing and are warning signs that the septic system is not functioning properly. In shoreline areas, noticeable algae and plant growth, or a distinctly colored patch of bottom sediment developing in the general vicinity of the drain field, can indicate excessive nutrient enrichment from a malfunctioning septic system. While not pleasant for anyone, septic system failure does occur and requires prompt action to protect public health and local waters. First call the local health department. 
they will be able to provide expert advice and refer you to a septic system professional that can help you solve your problem. To alleviate the problem, have the septic tank completely pumped out and ask the septic system professional to inspect the tanks for cracks and other problems. Pumping may not help if the household piping is clogged or if high water levels are the problem. Reducing your water use will also help. Also, fence off the wet area around the drain field to minimize contact with wastewater. Keep in mind that these are only temporary fixes and further action is required to assess and correct the problem. Remember that a permit from the local health department is required for repair, replacement, or new construction of a septic system. Always be sure to follow the requirements of your local sanitary code and hire only reputable septic system installation firms. For additional information and tips about septic systems, water conservation, green belt installation, and controlling stormwater runoff, visit www.watershedcouncil.org. Tip of the Mitt Watershed Council. Protecting what you love. Funding for this project was provided by Charlevoix County Community Foundation, Krauss Entertainment Group, and Petoskey Harbor Springs Area Community Foundation.